Hey, welcome back to Cheaper Cheaper TV, the show that helps you get the most for your money so that you get the most for your Jeep. On this week's episode, we're going to make a Jeep camping kitchen, a Jeep camping portable kitchen, a Jeep camping kitchen chuck box, a Jeep camping chuck box. So there you see just a basic box. The dimensions are one and a half feet deep by one foot tall and two and a half feet wide. And in that box will be my portable Jeep camp kitchen that I can use at the Jeep or elsewhere on my campsite. That box will unfold and turn out like this. This is a chuck box. You'll see the lid of the box opens up and gives you a working surface. The front of the box opens up and gives you another working surface. And the side of the box opens and gives you another working surface. There's a shelf on the top that you could put some water to pour to the side, storage in the middle, a spot for your camp stove, and a spot for your pans. That divider is adjustable based on your type of stove. So is the height of this shelf. This shelving unit opens up and supports the upper shelf. You can put things like bottles of soap, olive oil, spices, what have you. The legs go up to the box from underneath through holes and brackets that secure them. So we go from a simple box with all the gear stored for convenience to the Swiss Army knife of chuck boxes. Now in this diagram we show color codes for all of the different sections of this chuck box. The white shelf is adjustable for height based on the stove you have and this partition is also adjustable for the kind of stove you have. As we zoom out, you can see the sheet of plywood that you would use to cut all the pieces. There's even wood left over. So these pieces are your rough dimensions. Detailed diagrams and dimensions will be available on the website if you didn't want to take notes. If you did want to build this chuck box, you'll have to adjust some pieces by half of an inch depending on how you assemble the pieces. When you fold this all back together, there's even room inside for the legs to store. So here we are coming back from the store with our lumber all cut by the friendly people at the box store. You generally have one by one and a half foot pieces, one by two and a half foot pieces, and one and a half by two and a half foot pieces. You'll need a table saw to rip some of the edges back a half an inch or so depending on how you assemble the box. My table saw broke and I had to finish using a skill saw so some edges weren't as nice. With the sweltering heat we've been having I brought the project inside and I finished the wood where the interior was varnished and the exterior was painted. I assembled it with screws so I could readjust some of the shelf locations as needed. So I took the finished wood and I screwed it together according to the plan. Hmm, one and a half by one by two and a half. Hmm, looks just like the box in the plan. There's the box on legs, there's the side shelf, there's the front shelf, the spice shelf, and the upper shelf. The legs come through holes in the bottom and are held in place with brackets. I'll need to install some support chains or rope for the extended shelves. But as you see here, the dream is a reality in that we have a chuck box that's quite versatile and made with one sheet of half inch plywood. You can see that for my old camp stove, I made sure to place the middle shelf and the middle partition to fit. You can adjust those locations based on your stove. 
And when you're done, everything just packs up nicely for next time. Lift the box to release the legs and they store inside. How handy. Hey, so that was pretty cool. Let's have a look and see what we have in this week's tip segment. Now for some cheaper, jeeper tips. One helpful way to save space in your chuck box and have a lot of versatility is to have one of these expanding buckets. This bucket holds 10 liters of water, but it compresses into just two inches tall. I've even seen these in the dollar store and rectangular shaped for bassinets as well. You could put it on that shelf for washing dishes and when you're done, just slide it in its place in the chuck box. What about you? Do you have any tips? Feel free to make any suggestions in the comments section below. All right then, what do we have from this week's subscriber tip? And now for subscribers tips. Hey Cheaper Jeeper TV, with the hot weather and all, we've been taking our Jeep's doors off and leaving them in the garage while we're out. We bought two foam pool noodles and cut them in half and then up the middle. We slipped them over the bottom edge of our doors for protection and lean them against the wall till we return. It's a very inexpensive solution. Signed, Dora Saver. Hey Dora, thank you so much for writing in. What a great inexpensive solution. In fact, it ties in nicely with next week's topic. Hey, we hope you found all that interesting and thank you very much for showing up at this week's Cheaper Jeeper TV. If you're liking these shows, please remember to subscribe and click the like icon and we'll see you next week. Until then, be safe, stay well, take care.